Ian from Lean Media. Today I'm going to show you how to extract a list of all the ASINs in your Amazon Seller Central account. If this video helps you out, please take a moment to like it and follow me. Let's get started. This is a surprisingly hard task for something that's so basic and so important to uh, being an Amazon seller, and that is getting the ASINs. So this is an ASIN. Um, it's assigned to every single product that you that you have on Amazon Seller Central. Unfortunately, there's no easy way to get these ASINs um, unless you wanted to copy and paste all of them. And for me, I have more than 60, so that would take too much time. There is a workaround. It's not easy to do, but this is how I do it. So uh, open Amazon Seller Central. Go to, where are we going here? Reports, inventory reports. And uh, then you can select a whole bunch of different reports. Just choose inventory report and request report. And what's going to happen is it's going to create a download on this particular page. You just click download. The file will be saved to your hard drive in a format like this. Um, inventory plus report and then the date. Uh, you cannot open this particular file in Excel. I have tried to do it. It doesn't work. I even tried uh, Basically, if you open it by itself, let's take a look at it. It looks like this. So clearly, it's a tab-separated value file. Um, in the eight, you can see the ASINs in this column. But when you try to when you try to rename it and then open it in Excel, Excel choked. At least it did for me. So what I ended up doing was actually going to Google Sheets, creating a new spreadsheet, and then placing my cursor in the first cell, and then going File import it's thinking about it slowly then clicking upload then dragging the file there so I'm just going to drag that file that I just downloaded from Amazon Seller Central the inventory report and just accept all of the defaults there especially detect automatically and then import data And here are the ASINs. You'll see a column. Actually, let's blow that up a little bit so you can see it more clearly. You can see a column titled ASIN. Um, it includes standard ASINs, which begin with a letter, as well as uh, ISBNs, because I sell a few types of books. And then you could just basically isolate that list if you needed to do that. Unfor amazingly, the list does not include the name of the product itself. Um, so this is what I consider to be a pretty bad failing by um, Amazon's engineering team or maybe the product development team to give tools that sellers can really use because a list of ASINs is pretty critical to your business. Uh, you, you may need it for your Amazon advertising campaigns or in my particular case I need it to do a special type of A plus content. I need to do a bulk upload of ASINs. So, so this is the only way that I've found uh, to, <laughs> the easy way to get all of your ASINs is this really convoluted workaround but it works. If this video helped you out please take a moment to like it and follow me. Also if you go to leanmedia.org Click on blog or video, you'll see all of these blog posts and videos I have about running a business on Amazon, on Shopify, using online platforms to advertise and promote and hopefully to build your business up and doing it the right way. My name is Ian Lamont. Thank you so much for watching.